Welcome back. Today is Earth Day and it's a great way to introduce more eco-friendly activities with your kids joining us now. Toy Insider Charlene Deloche, you can tell us how we can bring in greener products and really start the conversation with our kids. Right, that's right. And the toy industry is really making a lot of strides yes. to try to be more green. So mm -hmm. some of the ones that we're talking about here today sort of showcase that trend. We're both wearing green. <laughs> right. yeah, give them the vibe. Exactly, exactly. And the first vibe there is a Racco Jr. from a company called Winning Moves. Mm -hmm. And it's made with plastic free packaging. But the game though is also really fun. It kind of talks about colors, which is part of nature. Right. The idea of it is Learn just to stack. Learn numbers. Yeah, to rack mm -hmm. and stack the cards in order of sequence. Mm -hmm. It's a fun, simple game, works on strategy. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's nice to see the companies are going that way as far as reducing their packaging. Exactly. Exactly, yeah, mm -hmm. and speaking of that, especially this one, mm -hmm. which is the Growing Greenhouse from a company called Learning Resources, as you can see, the packaging is all paper, all recycled, rather than that plastic that we're right. sort of used to and all the ties and all the stuff. It used to be stuff. so hard to get off. Right, exactly, right. and yeah. obviously it's all about, you know, growing green, greenhouses, so it's a nice way to sort of start the conversation about what we can do for nature, how can we take care of nature, mm -hmm. and it's made out of recyclable materials, oh, too. Those cute flowers, too, with yeah, the numbers. Yeah, all recycled materials. Awesome. Yeah. Great. So what also recyclable there? materials is this, the Sustainably Soft Friends from a company called Gund. And oh. even though it's made out of recycled yes. materials, as you can feel it, it's, it's super so soft. soft. I mean, they, they've always had super soft stuff. Yeah, but now knowing that it's still mm -hmm. made out of recycled yeah. materials sort of makes you sort of feel yes. good. And then you'll say, it feels good. <laughs> yes, oh so my too. gosh, it's yeah, so this is so soft. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. amazing. Um, it's great to see companies doing that. Right, and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But also, so this one is um, from a company called Boogie Board. So this is the Dash Drawing Kit. Ooh, how and does basically this, work? this idea is that you can take games on the go without mm -hmm. having to use paper. So here we actually have like tic-tac-toe, so we can sort of play with that without having to use paper. You can mm -hmm. then erase it nice. and do it again. And they're actually like four different templates. And of course you so can other just games. free form. Yes, exactly. And so you can just free form it and sort of mm -hmm. play those classic games you kind of do in the car yeah. without having to use paper. And a great break from the iPad. Exactly right. Sort of feels like right? the screen, yeah. but yeah, it's right. not the screen. Sort of going right? back to old school. Right, exactly. But still keeping it updated. Yeah, they even have a seek and find one in here. Yeah. We have to like look for things as you're driving and circle what you find. So oh, cool. needless to say, a lot of fun. Bring back oh, some yeah. of those memories, right? And this is the solar race car from Thames and Cosmos. So kids can build their own, literally their solar oh race car. Oh my goodness. So when you take that it outside, so cool. the sun hits it and that's how it goes. And that's how it goes. Exactly. So it's you're oh, literally awesome. having your sort of first solar toy. Right. And then there's a lot of information inside the kit that talks about solar energy right. and you know solar solar power. Mm -hmm. So needless to say, you know, that's so, so much cool. fun, right? Something for all ages, really. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it's that, again, it starts that conversation about right. going green, um, but probably the number one tip I would give to parents though is to go on social media go into those like local Facebook groups things like that mm -hmm. find the neighborhood and best thing you can do is to give more life to a toy rather than putting in a landfill. Mm -hmm. So can you sort of do a toy swaps? Can right. you sort of give it to somebody else who maybe now in those your kids have grown it? Those neighborhood, neighborhood trade groups. Exactly, right? Yeah. And so it's sort of having that and then also working. And talking about, about it. Right, talking about it. We're not gonna throw it away thing. because somebody else can, can use can it. Somebody use it. else can exactly. still love it. What can we do with it? Right. And then sometimes, yes, I mean, we get it as parents. Sometimes the toys are not ready to be passed along because you know the pieces are missing or whatever have you. But work with your municipality, figure out what kind of materials can be recycled and at least dispose of it properly. Right. If it's something and another activity is just to get outside and as a family with your kids and just pick up trash at the park. Exactly. It's starting the conversation or when you're unpacking the toys, what are we going to do with it? Why is it important to put it in this carton rather than the other carton? Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's all just about having that conversation yeah. when the kids are young. Yeah. Awesome. Charlene, thanks so much for being with yeah. us. Great ideas. Great advice. Love to have you on the show. Thank you.